Hello everyone! Today we are doing something pretty dang cool and it starts with our glue. And I'm going to make a small glob on my hand to make it easier to deal with as soon as I can get the glue out. There we go. And as you see I have a small thing like some people do with their foundation but I'm doing it with glue and I'm going to take the safety pen and put a little bit of glue on one side of it. This is going to help stick it to your lips. Now one thing to remember is don't do this while you're hungry or thirsty and it's going to take some time to dry. So now that it is dry I took some more and used my finger to add some more glue. One thing to be aware of is once you add more glue it is suddenly a lot more movable because the glue is sticking to the glue or something like that, but it basically means you have to be super careful not to pull it from its spot and make sure you hold it back in place, otherwise that happens. So I've got to stick it right back on and wait for it to once more dry. Now that it is dry, we can add more. So once you have all of them on your face, you are going to want to use foundation and a wet q-tip to apply the foundation to the white spots of the glue. Like so. We are putting the foundation even on our lips on top of the glue to blend it into our skin so it doesn't look like it isn't going through our lips because we want it to look like it is. Once you are done with that, you want to use a little bit of setting powder to make sure the foundation doesn't get lifted, but I forgot that step. Make sure you guys do that. Next, I used some lipstick that looked about the same color as my lips and put it on my lips to hide the foundation that was on them. If I didn't skip the step of the setting powder, there would be no foundation on my lipstick, but I, of course, did, so yes, foundation did get onto it. Now that the lipstick is on, you want to do some touch-ups from where you got every other makeup everywhere. And then grab your black eyeliner pencil to do the shadowing of where the pin went through your lips. And the red to mark the blood. You can also use some black eyeshadow to do some shading. In this video, I didn't make the blood because this was one of the earlier ones I filmed. I ended up just using some salsa, which works just as well. After putting on the fake blood, I just did my regular makeup on how I would normally do it with just some eyeliner and mascara.
and now you are done. Just a simple wounds on your lips. And with the gaps luckily in between, if you are careful, you can probably fit a straw in your mouth to drink things. Also, along with my eyeliner and mascara, I used the medieval torture device of an eyelash curler. So, that is basically it for this one. Really simple and a lot of fun. See you guys next time. Bye!